These are the highlights of our 36th fiscal period, the six-month period from June 1st to November 30th, 2019. First, in terms of external growth, we continue to implement portfolio replacement. During the period, we sold the HF Gotanda building, in its place acquiring the Kinshicho Square building close to Kinshicho Station. Unrealized gain improved to 37.9 billion yen, increasing the unrealized gain ratio to 22.6%. The next topic is internal growth. During the period, we achieved exceptionally high occupancy rates. In office properties, the average occupancy rate reached 99.67%, the highest level since the sponsor change. In residential properties, we achieved an average occupancy rate of 96.79%, the second highest level ever for an off-peak period. Please note especially that both office and residential rental increases are accelerating. Moving on to financial operations, we continue to benefit from a favorable financial environment. Financing costs declined steadily, while LTV improved, increasing the company's borrowing capacity. The financial performance of the company in the 36th fiscal period was as follows. In the previous fiscal period, the company sold the leasehold land of the Mita Heiwa building, resulting in a gain on sales of 300 million yen. During the 36th fiscal period, the sale of an office building in Gotanda resulted in a gain on sales of 200 million yen, meaning that gain on sales declined by 100 million yen in comparison with the previous period. Although at the same time, operating revenues from office properties rose due to exceptionally favorable occupancy rates and increases in rent. The impact of the decline in gain on sales was such that both revenues and earnings declined numerically. Net income declined by 71 million yen from the previous period to 2,506 million yen, while net income per unit, or EPU, came in at 2,469 yen. In view of these results, Along with an earlier-than-expected increase in EPU other than gain on sales, distribution per unit, or DPU, was 2,500 yen. The rest of the gain on sales was once again applied to internal reserves. We recently announced a new mid-term target for DPU of 2,750 yen. To achieve this target, we will strive to reduce expenses, focusing on internal growth and financial costs while making external growth the mainstay of our growth strategy. In this effort, we intend to make use of internal reserves to fund distributions. Our policy and distributions will not change.